On a chilly April morning in 2025, the rumors that had been quietly circulating through the corridors of the automotive industry finally took shape. Slate Auto, a startup shrouded in mystery until then, announced the official date for the unveiling of its first vehicle, a compact electric truck with a promised starting price of just $25,000. The announcement, though brief, reverberated like thunder in the seemingly calm sky of the electric vehicle market, where high prices and technological complexity still kept many American consumers from the dream of driving an electric car. The story of Slate Auto began a few years earlier, in 2022, when a small group of veteran engineers and executives from giants like Ford, GM, Stellantis, and Harley-Davidson decided to join forces in Michigan. The goal was clear, to create an electric vehicle that was affordable, practical, and above all, capable of democratizing access to sustainable mobility. However, what really caught the market's attention was the involvement of Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon and one of the world's richest men, whose family, through the office of Melinda Lewison, appeared as an investor and director in the company's official documents. With financial backing from other heavyweights like Mark Walter, owner of the Los Angeles Dodgers and Thomas Tull, an investor in rebuild manufacturing, Slate quickly raised over $100 million in a funding round solidifying its position as one of the most promising startups in the sector. The timing couldn't have been better. While electric vehicle sales were growing in the United States, most available models were still out of reach for the middle class. The few electric trucks for sale, like the Ford F-150 Lightning and the Rivian R1T, easily cost over $60,000, becoming symbols of status and innovation but far removed from the everyday reality of millions of Americans. Slate, on the other hand, targeted a different audience. Workers, small business owners, young urbanites and families looking for a sturdy, reliable, and most importantly, affordable vehicle. The inspiration for the project came from afar. The startup's founders often cited the Ford Model T and the Volkswagen Beetle as references, cars that, in their respective eras, revolutionized transportation by making it accessible to the masses. This spirit of transformation guided every decision the team made, from design to business model. Slate's truck, revealed in teaser images and street sightings, showcased simple functional lines with circular headlights, a boxy body, and an absence of superfluous elements. The aesthetic, described by some as a mix of a classic Range Rover and a Jeep Renegade, was intentionally unpretentious. Reinforcing the idea of an honest product built to last, Slate's communication strategy also broke from convention. Instead of large advertising campaigns, the company chose a nearly artisanal approach, releasing exclusive videos to select media outlets like Newsweek and fueling online buzz with images of camouflaged prototypes driving around Los Angeles. One of the most talked about moments was when a Reddit user posted a photo of the truck being unloaded from a flatbed immediately confirmed by sources close to the project's development. The authenticity of the sighting only increased public curiosity, with everyone eagerly awaiting the official launch. But the secret to the truck's aggressive price wasn't just in the simplicity of its design. Slate adopted a pragmatic approach to product development, opting to source electric motors, batteries, and other components from partner suppliers, instead of investing in expensive proprietary solutions. This decision drastically reduced production costs while ensuring flexibility to adapt the project to market demands. Additionally, the company bet on a single configuration with no complex customization options, further simplifying the assembly line and making quality control easier. The choice of production location also reflected this pragmatism. Instead of building a factory from scratch, Slate planned to use an existing facility in Indianapolis, Indiana, taking advantage of the region's infrastructure and skilled workforce. Production was set to begin at the end of 2026, with the expectation that the first vehicles would hit the streets soon after. To make the business viable, Slate wasn't just betting on truck sales, but also on creating an ecosystem of accessories and lifestyle products, a strategy inspired by brands like Jeep, and Harley-Davidson, which have long turned their vehicles into platforms for personal expression 
and customer loyalty. Slate's proposal was therefore ambitious, to create not just a vehicle, but a community around the affordable electric truck. The company planned to launch a line of modular accessories, allowing each owner to adapt the vehicle to their needs, whether for work, leisure, or off-road adventures. Clothing, gear, and even exclusive experiences would be part of this universe, generating new revenue streams and strengthening the emotional bond with the brand. However, the road to success was far from guaranteed. The electric vehicle market in the United States, while promising, still faced significant challenges, such as insufficient charging infrastructure, volatile battery prices, and cultural resistance from some segments of the public. Moreover, the history of automotive startups was full of failures, with companies like Lordstown Motors and Canoe struggling to turn prototypes into viable products. Slate, aware of these risks, relied on the experience of its team and the support of long-term investors to overcome the obstacles. As the launch date approached, expectations only grew. Industry experts saw Slate's truck as a possible market disruptor, capable of accelerating electric vehicle adoption among consumers who, until then, felt excluded from the technological revolution. The $25,000 price tag, even lower than that of the Ford Maverick, the benchmark for affordability among combustion trucks, could redefine the priorities of traditional automakers, forcing a reassessment of product strategies and pricing. For many Americans, the arrival of an affordable electric truck represented more than just a technological innovation. It was the promise of a future where sustainability would not be a privilege of the few, but a viable choice for everyone. Rural workers, small business owners, young people seeking independence and families concerned about the environment could finally consider electrification as a realistic alternative. The vehicle's robust design and functional purpose resonated with values deeply rooted in American culture, practicality, honesty, and freedom of movement. Ultimately, Slate's success would depend on its ability to deliver on its promises. The market was watching, competitors were on alert, and consumers were hopeful. If everything went as planned, the $25,000 electric truck could become the new symbol of a transformative era, just as the Model T was at the beginning of the 20th century. And, who knows, in a few years, the streets of cities and roads of rural America could be filled with these small electric trucks, quiet, efficient, and affordable, marking the beginning of a new chapter in the history of American mobility. Meanwhile, the Slate team worked tirelessly behind the scenes, fine-tuning the final details for the big launch event. Every decision, every component, Every line of code was carefully considered to ensure the final product lived up to expectations. Jeff Bezos' involvement, though discreet, served as a constant reminder that the eyes of the world were on the project. After all, this was not just about launching a new vehicle, but about proving that it was possible to reinvent the American automotive market, making it more inclusive, sustainable, and aligned with the values of a new generation. The future of Slate Auto was still to be written, but one thing was certain. The story of the $25,000 electric truck had already captured the imagination of an entire country, eager for innovation, accessibility, and real change.